Let's get more on this now from Mark Kimmett. He's a former U.S. Assistant Defense Secretary for the Middle East, and he joins me now live in the studio. Thanks so much for coming in. First of all, can you help us better understand exactly who these terrorists slash fighters are that are refusing to cooperate at this point? Well, there are really two groups. There are the groups that uh, do not have extremist tendencies. They are the opposition groups to Bashar al-Assad and his government. And then there are a significant number of ISIS-affiliated terrorist groups like HTS that are inside there. So they're mixed together. And uh, although the uh, regime would like to call them all terrorists, there are clearly some that are seeking a change in regime inside of, of uh, Syria. Mm. Because you're, the problem there is that they fear Assad will use the presence of any group at all to justify perhaps engaging in another offensive that's that Turkey and Russia in particular have been trying to avoid. Well, I, I think that's true, and sadly, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. We saw that inside of Iraq when we tried the same techniques with Mosul. Terrorists never came out, and unfortunately, it required the Iraqi security forces to go inside and uproot them. Uh, these terrorists that we're seeing inside of Idlib seem to have the same a uh, decision made for them amongst their leadership that they are going to stay and die surrounded by hundreds of thousands of civilians. Okay. But, I mean, Turkey and Russia have worked so hard to stave off any kind of, of offensive, and they've been successful so far. And now Syria says it is completely up to Russia to decide uh, what to do about it, really, and whether this deal has, has been fulfilled. Do you trust Russia to... Put swing this in the, in the right direction and to keep a violent offensive off the table? Well, let's be very clear. I, I applaud the nations that are trying to avoid a conflict inside the city of Idlib. Mm -hmm. I, I, for once, applaud the Russians and especially applaud the Turkish government for trying to set up a buffer zone to allow the extremists to leave. But if history is any indicator, I don't think they're going to leave. I believe the pressure on Russia from the Assad regime will be so significant that sadly there will have to be military action inside of it. Look. Okay, not a positive outlook, but Mark Kimmett, thanks so much yep. for, for joining us.